do is, well, half a pepper army in my case. <laughs> You're the spicy one with the skin on. But what I do is... <laughs> pull the covers back. She's rather a large lady. I mean, sometimes it burns me off on the light bulb. But I pull the covers back. Pull the covers back. We've got nothing on, right? Now, work your way down the body. I open the legs as wide as it'll go. I make a wish. And when it's, when it stops echoing, what I do is... Between the legs, very, very hard, like that. <laughs> and I don't know, quite know why, but for some unknown reason, it seems to make my hair go chuffing spiky. I don't know why, but it makes my hair go spiky. It said, does it? I said, it's chuffing, does it? If you want your hair like mine, you're going to have to try that. <laughs> he said, I'm going to do. And I saw him three weeks later, and his hair was just like mine. I couldn't believe it. I said, did you do what I told you? He said, I chuffing did. <laughs> oh, and I'm getting got a lovely house. <laughs> Somebody, are you? No, do you know when I got married, her parents promised me four acres of land and a cow. I'm still waiting for the land. <laughs> we had no money when we got married. We had no chuffing money. And I saved up some money and after the straight after the reception, I mean, we were very happily married. It was on the way back to the reception the trouble started. I mean, she wanted to be on the photos. Well, whisked away. We went to this very, very posh hotel. I was going to surprise her. I walked in this posh hotel. It was all marble and brass. I went up to the to rang the brass bell, the manager came out with the dicky bell. Yes, may I help you? I said, I certainly hope so. We've just got married this afternoon. This is my wife. I'm a husband.